Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast. We had the wide range in temperatures yesterday. Of course, snow having an impact on how warm it was able to get, but most spots did end up in the 40s. I think we'll be back in the 40s today. Some areas may reach the low 50s, especially in north central Kansas for those that uh, don't have as much snow. Uh, but uh, once again, it will be mostly sunny. It will be a bit on the breezy side today, though, with a southerly breeze. We'll have gusts near 25 miles per hour later on this morning in into the afternoon. The good news is the winds weaken tonight and uh, shouldn't be a factor at all tomorrow. Remember, these are wind gusts, so sustained winds will be even less than what's indicated on here. So winds will be out of the west in the morning, starting to shift over to the uh, southwest and eventually to the south late on Wednesday, which will continue the uh, warm up. I think tomorrow, especially with the lack of wind, will be the pick day of the week as uh, temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s for most areas. Maybe it'll be a few upper 40s still, but that is where we should be for this time of year. So not too bad at all. Now, latest computer models are not indicating uh, quite as widespread fog as what they were showing yesterday, especially for this morning. So, yes, it still may exist at times with some patchy fog, especially in uh, some low-lying areas, but it doesn't look to be quite as extensive as what models were indicating yesterday. Just watch out for that. I'm more concerned about the uh, black ice and the refreezing of the snow melt from yesterday. Of course, refreezing overnight. That will continue to be the case until the snow evaporates over these next couple of mornings. Continue to stay uh, sunny for this afternoon and gently clear tonight. Clouds uh, will be more of a factor tomorrow, but I'm still going mostly sunny. We'll see if we have to increase that to generally a mix of sunny clouds or partly sunny depending on extended cloud cover, so that'll be something to watch out for throughout the day on Wednesday. Otherwise, on Thursday, uh, this model is showing a little bit more sunshine than what I'm thinking that we're going to get, but that'll also be something that we'll continue to fine-tune as well as, of course, how quickly rain moves in. This model keeps us completely dry Thursday and starting to move in late Thursday evening with the rain from the south. Other computer models have the rain as early as Thursday afternoon and so obviously coming in a little bit quicker for Thursday night. But bottom line is Thursday into Thursday night will be the higher probability of precipitation compared to Friday. I did move that Saturday night precipitation change to Friday night based on latest computer models, but that is also subject to change. Otherwise, uh, taking a look at our two possible precipitation chances Thursday and Thursday night and then on Friday night we're not looking at anything very meaningful I do think a lot of the rainfall stays in southeastern Kansas it's just going to depend on how far north that uh, first storm system for Thursday night is going to get that's when we'll get the bulk of our precipitation for the next eight days it's mainly going to be rain but there is the chance that there could be a little bit of a wintry mix the European model has us uh, staying clear with the snowfall. However, the uh, GFS, you can see along and south of the turnpike being uh, where the majority of the precipitation is going to be, it does indicate, well, we'll see when it uh, comes up here. It's still thinking. Um, it's not going to be a whole lot of winter precipitation is the bottom line. Of course, that is subject to change. You can see trace to one inch in our northwestern communities uh, for the next uh, eight days. So well, seven days through Monday evening. And so it'll be something to watch out for. And just a quick check of our extended outlooks, probability of above normal temperatures, below normal precipitation, both in the six to 10 and eight to 14 day outlook, the three to four week outlook, normal or equal chances of below and above normal with precipitation and temperatures. Couple of notes here on the eight day, it does at least get warmer uh, with not only our temperatures for highs, but with our lows as well. Lows in the 20s tonight, not as many teens. There may be a few upper teens, but not as many as these past couple mornings. And then I do expect most areas to stay near or slightly above freezing for Thursday morning and Friday morning to round out the work week and then getting back to upper 20s, low 30s. So not bad over the weekend and early next week and temperatures remain steady in the upper 40s to near 50s, about seasonal. It does cool down a little bit for Friday. Of course, as uh, I mentioned yesterday, these high temperatures, especially over these next couple of days, will depend on snowpack. And so it did actually get a few degrees warmer in most areas, including Topeka, compared to what I thought. My forecast was 39. Obviously, it got up to uh, 42. I'm going to double check that. And so I did bump up those highs just a little bit over these next couple of days. 
just given the fact that uh, it did get a little bit warmer yesterday than expected. Uh, but it is certainly something that we'll continue to monitor, especially with potential clouds, especially tomorrow on how warm it actually will get. But I still think tomorrow is going to be the pick day uh, for the work week and perhaps for the next eight days based on amount of sun, lack of wind, if you will, and temperature-wise. So take advantage of that for tomorrow. In the meantime, keep checking back in for updates. We'll continue to keep you updated on the low probability, but at times could be moderate impacts, especially if we do have that wintry mix in some areas that we could have uh, for Thursday night and Friday night uh, that could have an impact on Friday and Saturday morning roadways. So just be mindful of that. But right now, it does not look to be widespread. Certainly not what we're going to be not what we dealt with over this past uh, weekend with the snow Saturday and Saturday night. It will not be widespread, but it will certainly be something that we'll continue to fine tune as we head into these next couple days.